Alright, so at this time I want to give another tip that can help you along if you are a student, probably in the secondary school system, possibly you're writing an exam, uh, you're studying for a quiz or a test that is coming up, probably you're doing E-levels or possibly the O-level exams and uh, you need some some assistance. One of the things that I like to discuss with you now has to do with asking for help. Sometimes it can be a little daunting to ask for help. We feel as though if I ask for help it means that I am probably less than an effective student. So I'm less than a student that has the ability to pass exams. Well that's not the case. I mean even students who are really good at passing exams, really good at understanding concepts, they at times need to ask for help as well. So asking for help is it's not a sign of weakness, it's actually a sign that you want to be an effective student and uh, you want to understand the concepts, not just to pass the exam, but you really want to have a full grasp or understanding of the, the items, the subject matter, so that you can one obviously pass your exams but two build on your your knowledge piece because many times while it's true that not all subjects you will necessarily have to build on your knowledge for you may go in a specific career that requires one type of knowledge over another kind of of information right but right now you might be in a in a school in a in a classroom in an educational facility where let's say for example you're studying um, human and social biology and there's a part of the biology that is really really difficult for you you're not to understanding exactly this particular part other areas of the human and social biology you kind of figure that out but this part is really giving you some problems definitely you have to get some help and the earlier you get the help the better it will be for you because sometimes we wait too long to get the help and the class moves ahead and by the time we ask for help we're way behind with regards to our knowledge base on the subject matter so ask for help up front of course you're not just going to you don't understand something you just run and ask for help try to kind of figure it out first on your own maybe do some research go up on YouTube ask a friend who probably passed the exam before or went through that particular course or maybe go to the teacher and, and uh, or the professor or the lecturer and say Miss or sir I really don't understand what's going on here this is what I understand so far but this part it's really difficult for me ask for help maybe you may have to set up like some time or maybe an office hour where you can go and talk to that particular professor or teacher or lecturer so do that ask for help early and get the necessary assistance and once you do that you actually will be in a really good position to understand the subject matter and once the exam comes up and you are asked questions on that particular topic you will be able to respond in a very comprehensive a very logical way so don't be afraid ask for help and another thing too sometimes just by putting up your hands in class and asking asking for help another student may not have understood the content as well and when you ask for help and get the answer it's it's clarification for them and also too interestingly sometimes asking for help helps the professor or the lecturer because you how you may ask a question they may have never thought about giving a response to that particular question it might spark in their minds a curiosity to even dig deeper or to try to figure out more on the subject matter right so ask for help and uh, utilize the help that is afforded to you okay so hope that that was helpful let's go back to our work now let's do some more of our study as you prepare for whatever exam or whatever um, paper or material you're working on or, or you're writing Alright, so let's go back to work now.